was a corporate manager of Fairchild Industries in 1974 through 77, I met the late Dr. Werner von Braun in early 74. At that time, von Braun was dying of cancer, but he assured me that he would live a few more years in order to tell me about the game that was being played, that game being the effort to weaponize space. And the funniest one of all was against what he called aliens, extraterrestrials. That would be the final card. He would bring up that last card. And remember, Carol, the last card is the alien card. And all of it, he said, is a lie. In other words, we have to have some reason to spend these trillions to waste these dollars when they're all lies. What's coming is fake. It's a fraud. It's not real as it pertains to you know, visitations from outer space. I mean, maybe there's a good reason why he had, you know, whoever he left behind after he died had them put Psalm 19.1 on his tombstone, of all things. And for Werner von Braun, of all people, right? Psalm 19.1, des describing the firmament. It's definitely one of those things that make you go, hmm. Did you know? That 15% of the United States actually believes that the government's run by Satan worshiping pedophiles. I know that sounds crazy. Get your pens and paper out, because here's why. First off, they fake the moon landing. And that's because in the Bible, they teach us the earth is flat. They practice ritualistic child sacrifice, hold hunting parties, and traffic people all over the world. That's because in the Bible, a false god told them to do the same thing. They took God out of our schools. And that's because they don't want you to know God or think he's real. Because it says in the Bible, those who know my name, I'll walk with them forever. It's kind of like the Santa meter. The more people that don't believe in God, the more powerful Satan gets. And in turn, the more power the elites get. And the elites are just clones, by the way. But not in the way you think. These clone bodies don't contain the Holy Spirit. So it's easier for these demons to inhabit their vessel and control them. They're going to fake an alien invasion and manifest the Antichrist into our reality. Are you awake yet? You let me know fake alien invasion and the destruction will be real <laughs> that's what people don't understand fake is just means the aliens will be fake the aliens will be fake but the destruction on our cities will be real that's what i'm that's what i want to bring to people that's what i want to make people understand and people need to realize this before it's too late because this operation is going to go to its final conclusion soon and we need, we see the preparations right now happening everywhere, but we need to recognize them, recognize the preps, and then recognize the psychological operation as well. This is so very important. All these UFOs that you are seeing, that people are seeing, that people are recording and putting online are not real. They're not alien UFOs. Those UFOs come from the deep state. They come from the government. This is all a part of their plan. This is all a part of Project Blue Beam. Now, what is it? This is a project that will attempt to deceive the masses to follow another religion, a fake religion, with a fake messiah. That's what the government and that's what the deep state are planning to do. The four major purposes, to abolish all types of traditional religions in order to replace them with a one world religion based on the cult of man. And that one world religion will tie with that one world government that they want to put out. This is all stuff planned and it's all working right now and y'all are all falling for it. It's all a part of the new world order. What they do is they put all these crazy things out that are happening, all the UFOs and all these things, and people will start to turn to look for someone for help. And that's when they send down the fake messiah, the fake religion, and that's it. Okay, this is gonna sound crazy, but I know you people. More and more, yeah. The government's gonna create a fake alien invasion. I know that sounds crazy, but it's what it's gonna do. It's gonna create a united front with the world. Fake alien invasion soon? How do you feel about this? Be prepared. Um, Werner von Braun, um, or Werner von Braun, he was the, a Nazi rocket scientist, mm -hmm. and he said if war didn't work and terrorism didn't work, the one thing to get a one world government or a one world order would be a fake alien invasion. And one of the conspiracies is obviously um, a fake alien invasion. And I said, it's funny, isn't it? They're talking about nuclear war. And I know I said, watch now. This is when the aliens will come in and intervene. Yeah. On TikTok yesterday, Ukrainians were saved by a UFO that took out 
I saw it. You saw it. Yeah. <laughs> the news reporters, they said that yeah. UFO in the sky with some bolts of lightning came down and just destroyed all the tanks. <laughs> I thought, mm, okay. First it was a sore throat, then it was climate change, then it was the transgender agenda, now it's Project Bluebeam, aka fake alien invasions. We're in for a ride. It's all dependent on how many people fall for this shit continuously. The more they wake up and see that this is all a plan to instill fear in everybody's minds, the quicker we can snap out of it. Let's not forget 15 minute cities. Now if you're like, what the f is that? Look it up, do some research. Instead of sitting there just being like, oh no, I'm happy with life as it is, research this shit. Your mind might change. You might think, f that, I don't want my kids growing up in that type of world. It's time to stand up for what you believe in. UFOs, UAPs. Glad y'all are paying attention now. You ready for this information drop? Let's get into it. Did you know all the videos that the Pentagon's releasing on the UFO and UAP topic are actually our crafts? Folks, our government knows that it has been pissed down their leg and it's not worked. Guess what they're ready to roll in? Fake alien invasion. Are you prepared? Okay, come on. I really don't have to spell this out for you. Do you really think that there's aliens in the skies now that they're shooting down these balloons? It's a diversion, a distraction from the fact that there are more than four countries on board right now as we speak, scrutinizing their governments and health officials for crimes against humanity for the frickin' past few years of what's gone on. It's all distractions, people. People are dropping it like flies. They're trying to distract you from that. Come on, get on board, wake up. Uh, there's something called like Project Blue Beam. Yeah, good one. What uh, is that? That is that's lasers, right? Yeah, I can uh, I can actually talk about that one, but that is uh uh <laughs> this is really bad, but. You know the people that see orbs in the sky? Yeah. Uh, go around that fly faster UFOs? than... UFOs? You know, UFOs. Yeah, the, there's there's Navy pilots. There's an, uh, yeah, multiple yeah, Navy pilots who talk about... Them, they, they got their... So they were flying F-18s, these, these oh. Navy pilots. And one of them's coming in here in a couple... In two weeks. He's uh, oh. Ryan Graves. Okay. He, uh, he's a Navy pilot flying off the coast of North Carolina, and they, they got their... Uh, their radar upgraded on their F-18s, and yeah. all of a sudden they were seeing these things darting around on their radar. Okay. Uh, don't tell him what I'm about to say and see if he knows about um, it. Okay. Um, so what we do is we play with our own forces to make sure our trickery will work on the enemy. Uh, and those are directed energy weapons <laughs> of where we do intersecting beams or focus beams into the atmosphere. And notice they're always in the atmosphere to excite the electron orbitals of the oxygen and, and nitrogen uh, in our atmosphere, and it causes a glow and it causes ionization. That ionization shows up on radar, and like a, it's like a cat laser pointer, and we're making planes chase them. That's exactly how they describe these things moving, like laser pointers. Yeah, and so we can do it in three space. We can make it look like... In three-dimensional space. Yeah, and we can make it look like... Uh, an entire fleet is about to drop bombs on, let's say, Europe, and then just have them disappear. And they ha they get all their planes up in the air, and we attack them from the other direction, uh, assuming we're attacking Who Europe. is doing this? The Navy, you said? Uh, somebody. <laughs> let's just say a group. A group, you know. Somebody. And you know this for a fact. I know for a fact, yeah. So anyway, don't tell your guests. A group within the U.S. government. Yeah, okay. We'll leave it at that. Yes. And, and is I, this something Is this something that could be seen with the naked eye? Or yes, is this something because that it only... glows. It glows. So it would be seeable. You can see it by the naked eye. And it would leave a radar trace. So it's perfect as a deception and, and it invo involves the voice of God weapons that I was talking about. Project Bluebeam does. And this got... This got leaked, uh, and so it probably won't have the effect, and they probably won't do it. But if you wanted to bring the world together, as President Reagan said in several UN speeches, you would have a common enemy like evil aliens attacking. We forget right. our differences, right. and we fight against it. Perhaps we need some outside universal threat to make us recognize this common bound. I occasionally think how quickly our differences worldwide 
would vanish if we were facing an alien threat from outside this world. So we wouldn't look at each other as, as Chinese or Russian yeah. or American. We look at each other as Earthlings. It's for humans. Yeah, as Earthlings. And so that was Project Blue Bean was to trick the human race into believing either God is coming down, everybody hears the voice of God, the microwave hearing effect, uh, get along, give, you know, whatever the new message is, or it was going to be the evil aliens attacking. And notice how they, all of a sudden, all the governments release all their information on UFOs, and there's a whole uh, division dedicated, and that's just deception. It's just you think it's all deception? I think it's all deception, really? yeah. But, you know, that's my opinion. I, I've looked at all the videotapes mm -hmm. and uh, that people have given me, and I can explain away each one of them. So apparently, but there's there's apparently lots of footage and video videos and photos that have not been released to the public. Yeah, I haven't seen those, so I, I can't get And if you things. think this is all some sort of psyop, what do you think the ultimate purpose of it is? Distraction against a lot of this human experimentation we're doing. The tentacles reached far back into the last century. But it wasn't until victories in Europe and Japan and the onset of the Cold War that political and economic conditions became perfect for actual execution. A conspiracy bigger and more secret than the Manhattan Project. More odious and far-reaching. Why do such a thing and lie about it? Our own government. Your own government lies as a matter of course, as a matter of policy. The Tuskegee experiments on black men in the 30s, Henrietta Lacks. What are they trying to do? That's the missing piece. But it's not hard to imagine driven not only by corporate greed, but a darker objective. The takeover of America. And then the world itself, by any means necessary, however violent, or cruel, or efficient. By severe drought, brought on by weather wars, conducted secretly using aerial contaminants and high altitude electromagnetic waves. In a state of perpetual war, to create problem, reaction, solution scenarios to distract, enrage, and enslave American citizens at home with tools like the Patriot Act and the National Defense Authorization Act, which abridge the Constitution in the name of national security. The militarization of police forces in cities across the U.S., the building of prison camps by the Federal Emergency Management Agency with no stated purpose, the corporate takeover of food and agriculture, pharmaceuticals and health care, even the military in clandestine agendas to fatten, dull, sicken, and control a populace already consumed by consumerism. And I encourage you all to go shopping more. A government that taps your phone, collects your data, and monitors your whereabouts with impunity a government preparing to use that data against you when it strikes and the final takeover begins. The takeover of America. By a well-oiled and well-armed multinational group of elites that will cull, kill, and subjugate. Happening as we sit here. It's happening all around us. The other shoe waiting to drop. It'll probably start on a Friday. The banks will announce a security action necessitating their computers to go offline all weekend. Digital money will disappear. They can just steal your money? Followed by the detonation of strategic electromagnetic pulse bombs to knock out major grids. What well, will seem like an attack on America by terrorists or Russia. Or a simulated alien invasion using alien replica vehicles that exist and are already in use. An alien invasion of the U.S. The Russians tried it in 47. Saying these things would be incredibly irresponsible. It's irresponsible not to say it. Especially if it's the truth.